This is the Italian way. Welcome to your guardian chef, your angel in the kitchen. Today, we are making orange marmalade. This is an old recipe from a convent in Sicily where nuns would preserve their garden produce by making jams, liquors and conserves. Plan ahead of time as this recipe requires four days of preparation. You just need bitter Seville oranges and sugar. We will calculate the amount of sugar we need once the oranges are cooked. The rind of the citrus fruit is a natural source of pectin, so you do not need to add any. Day 1. Boil the whole bitter oranges in water until they become so soft that you can pierce them from side to side with a needle. Drain them and place them in cold water. Day 2 and 3. Leave them soaking in water for two days, changing the water three times a day. On day 4, drain them and dry them as much as possible. With a sharp knife, cut the orange peel into small slices, removing the inner membranes and the seeds. These sour oranges are a hybrid of mandarin oranges and grapefruits. They have thick, yellow-orange skin and their flesh is extremely sour and bitter. Squeeze all the remaining juices and pour them with the oranges. Weigh the oranges and calculate the amount of sugar as one and a half times the weight of the fruit. So for example, for one pound of oranges, add one and a half pounds of sugar. Place the oranges and the sugar in a large pan and mix the sugar with the oranges. Simmer at a medium heat for one to two hours until it reaches the right consistency. You do not need to add any water. When cooking the marmalade, you should pay attention to the cooking time and temperature. Keep an eye on the marmalade and make sure to stir occasionally to prevent sticking and scorching. Once your marmalade has reached its desired set and texture, carefully transfer it into sterilized jars, leaving enough room for the lids. Properly seal the jars and store them in a cool, dark place. For safety purposes, it's essential to process the filled jars in a boiling water canner for 10 to 15 minutes. You can also boil them covered with water a few inches above the lid. This step ensures that the jars are properly sealed and free of harmful microorganisms. Start your day with a delicious taste of bitter orange marmalade on your morning crusty pieces of toast. Or use it as a filling in pies and tarts, such as in this crostata jam recipe. If you have some extra bitter orange, why don't you make orange liqueur? You'll find the recipe in the link above. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to make a sauce for my barbecue.